Welcome back to another video. I'm Josiah Decker and I make photography stuff on this channel. Um, recently, I've been doing a lot of medium format stuff and so that's what this video is. A bunch of 120 film that I shot over the past couple months and I neglected to make videos for these photos or I'm fairly certain because I, I definitely remember carrying this camera around with me. So I must have formatted the SD card before I took those videos off. So they're just lost. So um, instead of getting actual video, you just get me talking about the photos again. It's cool, it's whatever. So here we go. All those photos from the beginning of the video were just me driving around. Uh, the first one at the gas station was the only video clip I have for this entire video. Great, I know, I'm so professional. And that was at a gas station. I drove to this little town in the middle of nowhere. I don't even, I I don't remember where it was. I think it might've been called Shamrock or something like that, something weird. And there was this abandoned gas station. So I got out and made a couple photos and then that was all I did. And then I turned around and drove home. No videos, nothing. Um, and then the next photos were of this like weird little apartment I found and like a little condo type thing. And then around that neighborhood, there was also a little park back there the tree at you, as you see at the end, I was able to get some um, some bokeh, which doesn't happen a whole lot with my Yashica since the shutter speed is only firing at one speed. Um, but the lighting conditions worked out that I got to open up my aperture a bit and I was pretty stoked on that one. It It's interesting, yeah. Um, so that, that brings me to um, all of the photos that I got. If you watched my last, my second to last most recent video where I shot a bunch of expired film um, at a park and it was snowy and I was super excited about those photos got them and then mildly disappointed maybe maybe more than mildly disappointed about the results um, well as it turns out at the same time that I got those photos I didn't realize I had also gotten another roll of not expired film from the same location a week before and so when I was making that video right in the middle, I realized that I had those extra photos and I was like, what? I'm so excited. And I was like, yeah, I'll make another video about that. So here we are making another video about that. Um, turns out this was not Portra 400 like I originally thought. I had to dig through my pile of film negatives to figure it out because the lab doesn't label each of the uh, folders when they upload it, which is cool. I just got to go through the negatives and figure out which photos are which. So as I was organizing my photos today, I realized it was Portra 160. So that probably contributes to the mild underexposure on all of these photos. But you know what? At least, um, at least they're not all blue. So <laughs> can't be mad about that. Um, so it was just a random day and I decided to take a walk through, um, Mick, or let's see, through Lake Carl Blackwell and it was really cold and I was freezing the whole time. Yeah, I was warmer on the day that it was snowy, but you know, that's just how it is in Oklahoma sometimes. Um, so I was, I first entered the park and I saw these trees, dude, the trees at, at Lake Carl Blackwell, there's, okay, so this is a funny story, all right? So there was this Russian forester um, in like the 50s or 60s, I wanna say. He was one of the founding foresters at my uh, university. And he thought it would be interesting to just plant a bunch of pine trees in this part of Oklahoma and see how well they grew. And so there's just this random pine forest. Um, and, and so it makes for really interesting photos because there aren't a lot of pine trees around Oklahoma, especially this part of Oklahoma and the more like northeastern, I want to say is where we are. I'm not really sure. Anyway, yeah, not a lot of pine trees. There were some pine trees, so it's cool. I entered the forest and I started with a self-portrait and I really thought I nailed the focus. Like self-portraits with the Yashica are not easy. Um, I, I can never seem to get the focus right. I don't know why. I really thought that I stood in the correct position to have myself in focus. I like pre-focused, I focused on a spot on the ground and I was like, I'm gonna stand right there. Use the self-timer. I'm blurry, but you know, it would have been cool if it had worked and the, the colors are nice. So I, I really like Portrait 160 on a cloudy day. I feel like, especially with um, how like brown and orange the forest was at the time, looked really nice. Um, so this next photo was actually in focus. This is actually a mountain bike trail. If I've mentioned that in the last video, I'm not sure. And so there's this little blue bridge in the middle of the forest uh, and also a sign that indicates that it's um, Skinny Valley or something like that. And so there's a little blue bridge surrounded by the browns and with the 
With this Yashika, I think I was able to get some depths of field depth of field on this one. It's a little shaky. Can't help that with the shutter speed, but I think it turned out alright. Um, and then this one, I was able to get some, some decent depth of field. As I kept walking, I saw this field, and there's just a little... I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess it's a pine sapling. There's a little pine sapling. It's growing in the middle of the field. He was just doing his thing, so I stopped to make a picture of him. Um, and I was able to... I, I was metering with my phone, so metering may or may not be accurate, but I was able to get some really... And pretty sharp, I'm going to say, pretty sharp... Um, focus on it with some background separation and stuff um the only thing about this photo that i really don't like is that in the background there's like this cell phone tower or something and even though it's blurry you can still clearly see that it makes a line over to the left of the frame what you gonna do nice photo and then continued walking and there's just a tree and <laughs> just some just some trees in the distance just you know and the grass at the time looks really nice and so yeah most of this roll is just trees um as I continued, I found a little, it's like a wooden bridge kind of steps that goes over a fallen tree that I guess they built so mountain bikers can ride over the tree. I'm not really sure, but this photo did not turn out. I don't know if I forgot to meet her or what happened, but this photo just did not turn out. And then as I continued, I saw this really interesting looking tree. I can't remember if it was dead. This is why I should make video whenever I take these photos, because I don't remember the context. But uh, it was a really interesting curved tree. I don't know if it was dead or just, you know, sleeping for the winter, if it had fallen over or what. But um, it was just interesting that it was curving up. So here's another decent photo with some background separation. I feel like... I've always heard medium format has some really creamy depth of field and I I mean with a 3.5 lens at 44 millimeter 35 or 44 millimeter full frame equivalence basically um, I don't feel like the background is that blurry I'm guessing this was at 3.5 though and when I metered and I was like I can do 3.5 like, well, of course I'm gonna focus on something close to me so I focused on this tree and yeah turned out all right turned out all right um, background's pretty blurry i'd say it's pretty creamy um and the the portrait 160 when it's not expired turns out pretty well i'd say so here's an interesting photo i think what cap what caught my attention on this one was the fact that this is, the grass was all trampled so like deer or some sort of large animal was sleeping here or it could just be that i saw this line of trees and i wanted a photo of it i'm not really sure um it is interesting how the line of trees from left to right gets progressively taller. So I guess that could be what attracted me to this photo. I'm not really sure. And then here we have a photo of, here are the pines I was talking about earlier. Um, this was part of the pine forest that the, the forester guy a long time ago planted. Um, and you know, it's very underexposed, but you can still, it's a silhouette and you can, you can definitely tell that it's, um, that the trees are growing so also i didn't notice before but there's like a a plant or something that must be in the foreground and it's just um completely like blurry because i guess it was so close and the focus was so far away and i must have been at a pretty wide aperture so when i look in the middle of the frame i see like this silhouette of like some grass or something <laughs> so that's kind of cool i didn't notice that before but it is interesting how this photo is essentially just black and white because there's no color because i crushed all the shadows uh, i this is inside the forest there's no point in looking at this photo oh, okay and so here here is a look up shot another you know you can't really tell that it has any color so it could just be a black and white photo but it's just a look up shot straight up at the trees pretty cool not not a very common photo in oklahoma i feel like there aren't usually tall trees around here and then here is it almost looks like it's overlooking a valley or something i don't really remember where this was but there's a, just a part in the trees and it it looks like there's some some depth to this shot um so that's kind of cool and that's the last photo those were all of the photos that i have um i also tried some self-portraits inside which i feel like would have turned out really well but for whatever reason despite having a softbox on me uh video lights on me and i think i was wide open 
it, the photos didn't turn out. So probably because I was using, well, no, this this was Portrait 400. Yeah, I don't know why those didn't turn out, but um, all right. So that's all the photos I have for you today. I just, I, I made a list. I'm gonna make a video about, the, oh, I should have made a video about the list. That would have been smart. I made a list and I have it tacked up next to me. And one of the things on my list is to post bi-weekly to this channel because I'm, I want to be consistent with it because it's, it's fun. It's my favorite YouTube channel I've had so far. And so I want to be consistent with it. So I'm like bi-weekly videos. And I was checking my analytics on my last video and I realized it'd been nine days since I posted it. And I was like, well, nine days is almost two weeks. I better get on it. So here I am. I guess I still have five days technically. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed those photos. Um, one of these days I'm going to invest in a better medium format camera, but for now I really enjoy the negatives I get from my Ashika, even if they're not um, perfect, <laughs> they're probably never going to be perfect. It's still a lot of fun to use and um, I hope you don't hate these photos because some of them turned out. <clears throat> some, of, some of them, uh, some, of, some of them turned out. Yeah. Cut that out. Okay. Thanks for watching subscribe if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this i know i have a big video coming up like a lot of photos i went to arkansas on a spring break retreat with this campus ministry and the photos that i've gotten back so far are pretty cool you know i'm, I'm not the most excited about them but i have like five more roles i think so that sounds right five roles that i need to get developed still all for one video and so i'm so unbelievably excited once again i didn't shoot enough video for it but i got some videos so stay tuned if you want to see something like that and i'll see you in the next one bye